there bosses welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about competitor analysis it's a bit doesn't really need um, that much of an introduction because it is what it says on the tin it's you really understanding and taking a deep dive and analysis into who your competitors are now you may think or say to yourself I already know who my competitors are and yeah, you may very well know who your competitors are. But if you had to, um, I don't know, describe what their mission is, uh, what CSR action they have or plan in place, if they have any, what um, their commitment is to their employees, what their environmental policy is, would you be able to answer those questions? If yes, then you don't need to watch this at all. You're already miles ahead of the game. But if not, then I really um, implore you to really think about conducting a competitive analysis um, uh, program so that you can really take a deep dive into who your competitor is because it's about finding opportunity, opportunity and insight and also inspiration. It really does shape, competitive analysis really does shape an important w uh, way um, that you, it really does shape how you will create your strategy and what your marketing tactics are and what your brand strategy is. It's incredibly important because you want to fit in to your category, but you also want to stand out. And if there are people that are already saying the things that you're saying and they've been saying them for a while, you're not gonna stand out. You're just going to be a me too brand and none of us want that. Um, so conducting a competitive analysis is a very important step in a way for you to find your own space, to find your USP, your unique selling point and a way for you to differentiate yourself from the other competitors in your space. So I'm going to give you a few tips and some advice on how you can conduct a very thorough and insightful competitive analysis audit. Now, this one isn't actually that much rocket science, but what it does take is a commitment to putting, I say pen to paper, but initially like logging down your findings because you want to really be able to refer back to this analysis when you are coming up with any marketing ideas or when marketing tactics or PR ideas or communications campaigns or whatever that may be, referring back to it's really important. Also, you may want to add some new competitors to this document when new ones launch or when other people start um, competing in your space. So really make sure that it's not something that just lives in your head, but it's something that is actually committed to paper and it's something that you can share with other members of your team as well so they have the insight that you have. The most important place to start is by taking a very objective view of your business. Now if you're the owner or the founder then that sometimes is a bit hard to do because you are so emotionally invested in your business but it is absolutely vital that you take a step back and try and view um, this piece of activity as a almost like you're a stranger to your own brand um, and try and view it as objectively as you can. So then once you've done that you've, you're in that sort mindset you need to um, identify who your competitors are now you should identify who you think your competitors are but also go out there and ask your customers your staff your friends and family who they think your competitors are because they may have a little bit of a different view to yours they may throw up a few brands um, that wouldn't have occurred to you and that insight is going to be very valuable so I would start by maybe you know you don't want to start with like 10 you'll be there for days and that there is such a thing as too much information and I think in this case then that definitely is it I would start with maybe three or four as your sort of benchmark main competitors um, and start from that point okay so you've identified your three or four competitors now the next thing to identify are where you can win what your where your opportunities are to win and where your opportunities or dangers exist, right? So where you just can't compete. Now, that may be that um, they have a, spe a special technology or um, access to a service that you just can't access. 
that's all proprietary to them that they take complete ownership of. So there's just no point in um, trying to compete in that area. Compete where you can win and that's where is areas that they aren't competing in. So it's sort of by identifying these dangers and identifying um, these opportunities, you're able to clearly segment where you can play and where um, you can really focus your time and energies because it really is isn't worth focusing your time and energies on danger areas where competing is going to take up all your resource, all your money, all your time, when actually the opportunities over here is the really rich territory where you can stand out and you can win. So I would start by identifying with each brand those two points. Okay, so when you've identified those two points, I would just go straight in and find out as much information about each brand as you can. What their mission statement is, what their higher purpose is, and by that I mean, do they have a charity association? Do they, um, I don't know, do they work with a certain charity every single year? Say they work with breast cancer every September for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, avoid that. Um, charity unless it's very close to your heart and find your own space and something that you can create a very unique proposition around um, you know uh, what's their mission what their key messages what their latest product launches or their service have it like go and send someone to it if there are hairdressers or a beauticians or a whatever go and send someone a spa go and send someone to go and have the treatment and to report back to you uh, if it's a product, then absolutely buy it. Look at the inky list, look at the product, uh, look at all of the ingredients that are in there, look at who manufactured it, um, look at what their sustainability program is. Is everything made from recyclable plastic, sustainable materials? Um, is, you know, try the product. Do you like it? Have a look at what the reviews are for the product, the good and the bad. Make a note of all of them. You know, really get to understand the competitor from the inside out, uh, from the outside in, I should say, um, so that you can really understand what their brand is all about and get a much richer understanding of that. I would also go on to Amazon if they're sold on Amazon and see what the Amazon review reviews are. Look at Trustpilot reviews. Look at their customer service. You know, tap into their customer service. See what that's like. Just really try to get a thorough understanding. Obviously, look at all of their social channels. Um, really look at their website, how they rank. You know, do they come up on the first page of Google? Find out as much as you can. Um, is it spying? A little bit. Would they do that? Is this a general marketing tactic that all brands should be doing? Absolutely. Do all brands do it? Yes, most of them do. If they don't, they should be doing it. So don't feel, you know, don't do anything untoward or illegal because that isn't cool. But really do, by having this thorough understanding of who your competitors are, you are able to find a way to differentiate from them and to stand out. Because if you are saying the same thing as they are saying, you are not going to be standing out, as I said earlier. You are going to be Me Too and you are not a Me Too brand and we are not having that. So make sure that you do this analysis because it will be insightful, it will be motivating and it will um, provide you with a clear path to how you can stand out. That's it from me. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be um, landing new video next Monday. Hashtag Monday motivation to keep you on the path of becoming your own PR boss. You can also follow me at Beauty Bank. Oh, no, that's my charity. Sorry. There's a lot of BBs in my life at the no, I'm doing it again at Beauty Beat Coms. Or if you fancy some lols, follow me. I'm Joe L. Jones both on Instagram or on TikTok. Did you see my video last week? If you didn't, you should watch it now at Beauty, the Beauty Hack. Nice to see you. Hopefully see you next week.